I am Caitlin Stephan, and I'm here to bring you a word of encouragement to the, to the chosen, to the ones that answered the call. All right, everybody's called, I believe, but only a few have the the consciousness level to be able to cons to even grasp that concept of answering the call, right? So just hear what uh, hear with the spiritual, you know, mind, and always test out the spirits, guys, of every anybody that is feeding you spiritually, because that stuff you have to test their spirit, not the way they look, not the way they dress, because trust me, God had to really pr prune me from that judgmental. Which is, you can't judge a book by its cover, right? People will blow your mind. And he'll, and he'll do that on purpose. To like somebody that you would never expect will give you a donation. That's just incredible, right? Just certain things. So if anybody's getting weary and doing good works for the Lord, listen. Or people are coming to attack you, you ha you're not ready yet. You need to still study and show yourself approved. That and, and then God will bless you with that exposure that you have been promised or whatever the case is because of your heart. He knows how sensitive you are. He knows what you're up against. It's important that you do too. And if you don't have any word in you, you don't have anything to really back it up, you will get swayed back and forth and get fall, you know, nervous or anything like that because nine times out of nine, the chosen were always silenced for anything. And that's because we were saying iconic, um, uh, you know, very brilliant, wise things at a young age and people thought, who did, who did they think they are? It was all part of the dynamic to keep us quiet. But we're coming to a new time where God has opened up our minds to be able to understand the scriptures, the real ones, because they're all not. And if you're and if you're super religious, the spirit of religion, this is not going to be for you, period, at the end. I'm not putting a, uh, this in a box anymore. I can't. It's not for that. Otherwise, why would it even be happening, guys? You know what I mean? And plus, my testimony is getting ready to come out, and it is going to be a doozy. And... It is what it is. I hope that it reaches who it's for and the ones that resonate. That way you can come home because a lot of his sheep has been scattered to uh, per, to prison, prostitution, drug addiction, all, the, all these other things that society wants to condemn them for when really they just had an open heart and got shut down so bad and they couldn't reach out to God because of the way that they had scattered the the wisdom. That's why the, the churches that are standing here... Today, not all, but most, they are coming down because the indoctrination that they have been teaching right here from the Word of God is is not the tr like it's true, but not. It's true enough just to keep you away from it, just to keep you thinking you guys are hypocrites, right? The same thing Christ Himself went against. Can I glory be to God? <laughs> I love him. I love him so much. He's a bad man, my jamma. All right, so uh, where are we going to go today? Because um, a lot of prophecies have been yet to be fulfilled. So who do you think is going to fulfill them? You, my friend. You, my friend. Yeah, you're a modern-day prophet. I'm not saying you're Christ or anything like that, but I'm saying you might be one of these people in the Bible. <laughs> Those that resonate, resonate. So if we go to... Uh, where was it, guys? Sorry, um, I was gonna do a live stream on this. Um, it, I guess it was in the be it was in the beginning of John, I believe. Um, but it was basically talking about how God opens our mind up to the scriptures, and like I said, this has been translated a bunch. The Geneva Bible is where it was translated from. King James translated it a little bit because he was afraid that that the people would form a group against him, right? So let's stay open-minded when it comes to these spiritual things because there are so many hidden mysteries of God that aren't only based on Scripture. And I know that gives us a good, secure foundation as far as the knowledge and stuff. But when you, you know, you're spending time alone with God a lot and you're doing things that most people don't do in order to get that wisdom, people get feared or whatever. But when they're ready, they'll hear. Other than that, don't worry about it. So, because... Uh, I get it. I trust me. I get it. The the way the reason why people um, them same people that want you to be um, scripture based on everything are the same people that deny God by the works of their very hand. You see, that's the hypocrisy I'm talking about. Like you might look like um, a weirdo or something like that, but literally you're not denying the Father by your hands because you are you have integrity when nobody's watching. You have dignity. You're loyal. It ain't just a tattoo. You actually live, breathe, and eat that no matter how many times you've been targeted. That there's a, a miracle alone in itself. And the miracle that you've been waiting on is you. You realizing who you really are. That way the full circle comes around. Boom. 
And then you step into the power that God is blessing you with. The gifts that God is blessing you with is being increased. And always remember that just as much as he can give you and bless you, he can take away just as quick. So that's something that I myself have to keep myself in check for, right? Which I never did. I never was the chosen one that was like, ha ha, look at me, because they always persecuted us, right? I just, I always knew. Anytime that they humiliated me or embarrassed me, which was a lot, I just would laugh inside. Or sometimes it would be rage and me just wanting, me fighting back the tears. But huh, glory be to God, we made it to, to still have that open heart because we know the, the, the universal law of having an open heart. You're not going to receive if your heart's closed, if your heart's hardened. And if your heart is hardened and you're thinking, who do I think I am? Ask God to circumcise your heart so you can, too, be blessed as your birthright, your inheritance of the Most High. They stole it from us. God turned us back on us for a while, guys, because of disobedience. But the righteous is going to reign again because the wicked, their time's up and they're going to fall. Because of greed and everything else, guys. I would never sit up here talking about the Most High God for monetary gains. That was never the goal, right? Obviously, yeah, my time should be paid for, but it wasn't the goal. And, and there's so many people doing it that it's keeping the ones that are genuinely mouthpieces kind of ignored or rejected but like I said who's made for you to the, when the student's ready the teacher will appear I know that because when I was ready my teacher appeared right and I, I'm still learning every day but the um the the scripture reference I wanted to even go to I'm not even sure where it's at now but um okay here it is it says then he spoke to them these are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you that everything written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and the psalms must be fulfilled see then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures and then said to them, thus it is written that the Christ should suffer and on the third day rise from the dead and that repentance and forgiveness of sins should be proclaimed in his name to all nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are a witness to these things and behold, I'm sending the promise of my father upon you, but stay in the city until you are clothed with power from on high. That's what you're waiting on. That's what I'm saying. You, God has to get you strong first, or you, you, you will get your shape, your, your faith could be shaken. Anything could happen, right? So I'm going to end the word here, guys. Um, I really, uh, am just taking time to pour into myself and, and not constantly worry about the calling. Like if it's moved onto my spirit or if I feel it to the point where I need to, I've been doing it. But other than that, I just been taking care of myself and, um, and just spending time with God, you know, just me and him. And when you, when you start, when you start to learn that you go to first Corinthians, you read all about how it, it becomes like an obsession, right? Where's that at? Let me see. I know that it's on 11, 11, or it's somewhere, it's somewhere close to that because of the revelation, which is crazy because of the Bible number here, especially during that time. When I was uh, in the wilderness, right? Sorry, guys. I'm about running out. I'm about to run out of time. Where was it? Where was it? Holy Spirit, help me. I know it was somewhere right in here. Okay, here it is. Second Corinthians. But as you excel in everything in faith, Second Corinthians, and we are in chapter eight, verse seven. But as you excel in everything in faith, in speech, in knowledge, in all earnestness. And in our love for you, that you excel in this act of grace. I say this, not as a command, but to prove by the earnestness of others that your love also is genuine. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that through he is, was rich, yet for your sake became poor, so that you by his poverty might become rich. And in this matter, I give my judgment, this benefits you, who a year ago started not only to do this work, but also desired to do it. Glory be to God. And it was... Uh, in this Bible, it was a 11, 11, triple 11s, okay? And I was, sorry if I'm blowing your eardrums out, but um, you can see it. And that was when I was seeing them repeating numbers, but I thought maybe numerology and all that stuff would, would have, could have led me astray, which it could, it can when you are being divinely guided through that signs and wonders, right? So strong coordinates or the Greek meaning, if you keep digging deeper on the, the numbers, it will give you the conviction that you need to set you, set, set you straight or that encouragement or whatever it is, okay? But whatever you do, you know, just know that there is no wrong or right to want it, but you don't want to set up more setbacks than what you've already had, all right? 
I love you guys. Uh, I've been doing a lot on YouTube. Follow me over there. Peace.